that thing. Came back. Then on the Monday morning, we took it back to Wilmsall. Um, just drove it back, pulled up round the back, went inside. Uh, guy came out and said, I'll just have a quick look round it. And it was a quick look. He didn't see anything. Mm. And um, we signed for it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. End of the story. And then, obviously, Lamborghini well, sends you a letter, eh? Apparently what happened, it was, it was out on hire, but it had been out two or three times after we hired it. Yeah. And what happened was it had a front end shunt. Oh, yeah. Somebody had not stopped at a zebra crossing or something. Well, it the brakes were bad on them anyway, weren't they? They weren't brilliant. Yeah. No. So it, was, um, it had a front end shunt. And when they strip the grills out of the front yeah. and the spotlights, they found a little bit of resin <laughs> and a little strand of fiberglass mat. Yeah. So they immediately came back to us because we told them that we wanted it to photograph for our fiberglass container uh. business. So we had a we had to put a lawyer on it, and the lawyer said they, they can't do anything. It was nearly out of copyright. Yeah, it hadn't changed significantly in its shape, so they couldn't apply for a new copyright. And by the time, if they doesn't, if they tried to take us to court, by the time we'd fifth and faffed around, the um, the copyright would have been over. Yeah. Then we got a letter from the Mimram brothers who had just taken over Lamborghini at the time. Ferruccio had, uh, had retired and the Mimram brothers took it over. Um, and what are they trying to do? Try to stop us copying it. Yeah. Well, this was probably towards the end of 85. Right. And the copy ran out in 86. Oh, right. So we just sent them a snotty... Solicitor's letter back um, saying, and let you there. <laughs> okay, just do whatever you want. Yes, yeah. we'll mess you around that much, and it'll cost you that much to, to sue us. It won't be in copyright by the time we're finished. Yeah, yeah. So, we that's what we did with the uh, Mimran brothers. Do you know what happened to that letter? Never heard anything back. Did you keep the letter? No, I just shut it. Peter Jackson had it, uh, and he's he's no longer with us, is he? Sorry? He's no longer with us, is he? Pete's dead, no. Yeah. So that's no. probably gone in the bin. Pete had it. Pete had the letter. I don't know why he had it, but he did. Anyway, he did. Yeah. Because well, you were, at the time, was, was you Mirage then? No, I was still Venom then. You were still Venom? Yeah. I actually finished Mirage, uh, Venom completely, before I became Mirage. Right. It started off Phil Cheatham. So what, 86? 86. Phil Cheatham came to me and he said he wanted a car building. Yeah. So I built him a car. And in the end, I said, what do you want it for, Phil? He says, well, I'm thinking of starting my business up. He said, do you want to come in with me? So the car was nearly finished. Just sprayed it yellow. Um, so I finished the car off. I shut Venom down. Yeah. I went over to Phil's. And it was just... It just didn't work. Uh -huh. It didn't work. Um, Phil was seeing this girl. Oh, yeah. And he had a wife and children. Oh, I don't know. Okay. And not only... Was that happening? I was staying at his house with, uh, his, right. with his wife. <laughs> and I, every time I got home, where's Phil? Yeah. Where's Phil? And I didn't, it not I, me, I can imagine. Yeah, it was absolutely. He's stuck in the middle. What do you say? Like, uh, I stuck, yeah. Because we used to go out at night to one of his clubs, one of his little 
drinking clubs and uh, he used to drop me off and then take his girlfriend off. <laughs> so. Yeah, you don't want to be stuck in the middle of that, do you? So after about two months, three months, I just said, I can't do this. Yeah. Because it, was, it wasn't fair. It wasn't fair on me getting the third degree. No, that's right, I think. So I ended up just leaving. So that's why I wasn't with ah, right. Mirage very long. Is that is that when you just like washed your hands with kit cars all together then? More or less until a chance meeting with Daryl and we decided we should build one ourselves. All right. So we did. We three quarters built it. Anyway, somebody came and offered us a right stupid load of money for it. So we sold it. <laughs> so we didn't actually finish that one. But uh, it was a price too good to resist. Yeah. Yeah, so that's that was the end of, of uh, Mirage and Venom. You know, we built this car so, and sold it. Yeah, so obviously you have you said you can't do that anymore with uh, Phil. Yeah. So what, what does Phil, Phil do then? He's, he just packs it in, does he? No, Phil started to... to do what we'd planned on doing, copying the chassis, copying the bodies. Yeah. He just carried on with that. Oh, right. And then at a later stage, I don't know when it was, he sold out. Mm. He sold out to whatever his name was. So I don't really know that much about Mirage. Yeah. I only really know up to the very beginning of Mirage. So you had Mirage and Prover, they were the two those were the fight, two. fighting yeah. each other, really, didn't it? Yeah, those were, the, those were the two of them. And then somehow Senna and DC come well, off that. Paul went, uh, Peter went to Paul's at Prover. He got a white Kuntash replica off Paul. Paul built him a replica. Then he pissed Paul off and went with... I think of his name now. Dave, is it? DC? I think Dave took over Mirage. Paul, uh, Peter went with, uh, fuck you know. Oh, I can't remember the name. Sienna Cars. Oh, Sienna. Yeah. Um, of course, they, got a, they all got a car each by then, haven't they? Sorry? They got a car each by then. Yeah. So they just copy their own cars then, I suppose. Correct. So Pete went to Sienna and I just sort of drifted out of it. Mm. And he went on to what did you do then? Nothing. Didn't do anything then, did That's it. End of. After the after we sold that car that me and Darrell were building. Yeah. I stopped stopped doing it altogether. You stayed a mechanic or something like that. Oh yeah, I stayed a mechanic. And then in the late nineties, I got on Granada Men and Motors. Welcome once again to Better Bikes. Now I've had a word with Paul and apparently one or two of you have been ringing the office and saying, I haven't heard the bike running yet. Well, I have actually heard it and I listened to it obviously just before I bought it. So to prove the point, I shall now start it for you. There we go, sweet as a nut. That's right. And that's it, really. Yeah, how the odds you get on there? Well, I knew one of the guys, a guy called Paul Johnson, who was one of the main presenters. Yeah. On, it was Granada Men and Motors, and it was called uh, Something Bike. It was all about motorbikes. Yeah. And. Um, I said to uh, I said to Paul one day, I said, you know, I can do that. I says, I know you probably can. And then I got my own series. Oh, that's in hell. That's in hell. Called well. Use Bike Heaven. I did one one series of that, and I worked with Richard Hammond. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you did what? 
one series is like um, a year, is it? Yeah. Yeah, one, one season. Well, about eight months, I think it was. Yeah. Yeah, so I think yeah. it was 12 episodes. Well, that, that was cool. So that was it. Enjoy that? Yeah, it's good. It's good. Made a lot of good friends. Mm. And then I went on another bike program where I rebuilt a Blackbird. That's right. So I did that. And that interview you're on and that, is that your garden? Yeah. Yeah, that's your back garden. Uh, Beverly right? Road, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, cool. So Talk that's it. it, really. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. Have I, have I forgot anything? No. Say goodbye to Gary now. So that's where Gary is. And uh, we are now taking a three hour drive now over to the factory now. So great. So we won't bore you with a three hour drive and we'll see you when we get to the factory. This is the white car back from Pete. So just putting it all back together, putting the glass, glass back in. Uh, got one there we're gonna cut up, new chassis. That's sold, this is sold, and this is the one, the chassis that goes with that body. This is going to the Netherlands. So we're just sorting some stuff out on it before it goes. Got a Christmas car on the back of there. And, uh, hi, pretty cool.